Hello, my name is Dr. Dan Grover and I'm a climate scientist at the University of Leeds and the Met Office. My work focuses on understanding the way that clouds like these form and the impact that clouds have on our weather and climate. Light is made up of a continuous spectrum of wavelengths. The part of that spectrum that we can see with our eyes, which we call visible light, spans all the different colours of the rainbow. Most of the atmosphere is transparent to visible light, and so visible light is mostly transmitted through it. But in clouds, that light is scattered by the droplets of water and crystals of ice. The thicker the layer of cloud, the more the visible light is scattered, with less light making it through to the base of the cloud, which is why clouds can look very dark from underneath, but very light from on top. All the wavelengths of visible light are scattered a roughly the same amount by the cloud droplets, which is why clouds look white, at least from above. Any of the sun's light which makes it down to the Earth's surface is either reflected by light-coloured surfaces, such as ice or sand, or is absorbed by the darker land, water or vegetation. The absorbed light heats the ground, warming it up. The reflection is a mix of specular and diffuse reflection. In fact, the sun's electromagnetic radiation doesn't just consist of visible light, there is some ultraviolet and infrared radiation, or heat, as well. Clouds mostly absorb infrared and mostly scatter ultraviolet light. So, when it's cloudy, it's not just darker, we're also less likely to get sunburn from the ultraviolet radiation since it is scattered back into space and doesn't make it down to us on the ground. Scattering in clouds doesn't just affect the visible light, which is heading towards the Earth from the sun, but also the visible light which is heading back up into the atmosphere, having been reflected by the surface of the Earth. Clouds are a big unknown in projections of what the climate will do in the future. We know that some parts of the world will get cloudier as the climate warms, and others will get less cloudy. Cloud can stop the sun's visible light and heat from reaching the ground and preventing that light from warming the surface. So, the cloudier it is, the less light reaches the surface, and that might reduce the amount of warming that we see. But clouds are also good at absorbing the infrared radiation, or heat, that the Earth is losing to space, trapping it in the atmosphere a bit like greenhouse gases do. If you've ever looked at the sky, you'll have seen that clouds come in many different shapes and sizes, some wispy and high up in the atmosphere, others thicker or lower down. Understanding what type of cloud we'll get and where, and the physics of what happens inside those clouds, is key to understanding what weather we'll see as the climate changes. In general, low thick clouds, like stratus or cumulus, cool a planet, but high, wispy clouds, like cirrus, warm it. So, in places where it is getting cloudier, we need to be able to work out exactly what sort of cloud will form. Will it be a low, thick cloud or high cloud? By understanding the scattering that is going on in the atmosphere, we can really improve our understanding of climate change and help people to prepare for its impacts.